question to CameraLink cameras. A lot of people would like to know what is a CameraLink camera and what is CameraLink? So in this short video, that's exactly what we're going to cover. What we're going to focus on is simplifying this topic as much as possible to give you a working overview and very important information that you can use right away. And you'll be able to use that information and you'll be able to come away uh, with some knowledge um, in under 10 minutes. We're going to wrap this thing up pretty quickly. So that means that the audio por portion will be the short and to the point concise part of this whole presentation. Uh, you're welcome to read along and watch this uh, as much as possible uh, if you would like more of the details or you can simply contact us to learn more in-depth information. We do have white papers um, and other helpful information and we'll provide our contact information at the end of this. So please limit your distractions, sit back and enjoy this video overview of CameraLink Cameras Made Simple. Now, let's begin. In this video, what we're going to talk about is an introduction to CameraLink, uh, some of the typical applications, the technology behind CameraLink, including the origin of it, uh, the different versions of CameraLink that you need to be made aware of, some of the advantages uh, an overview a slide that you'll find uh, very uh, interesting of uh, CameraLink made simple. Um, some of the products and prices. So you know, I'm sure you're curious to know well, what does a CameraLink camera cost? What components do I need and what do they cost? And we're going to touch on those. Um, and then where to buy uh, these products. So uh, what is CameraLink? Basically uh, you can think of CameraLink as an interface standard that was developed specifically for the transmission of video in non-consumer uh, imaging applications. So prior to CameraLink, it was really a challenge to um, set up a camera with um, other uh, imaging components. And a lot of times it was just incompatible pieces that you had to try to put together on your own. And it was a really a big hassle. And also those interfaces of the past uh, didn't have much bandwidth and they were just very slow. Uh, so um, CameraLink was set up uh, and now you can connect cameras with compatible frame grabbers and cables uh, right to your computer. Um, and the transmission is uh, quite fast and it's really easy to mix and match um, products that are CameraLink certified. <clears throat> Typical applications with CameraLink. Uh, it's used quite extensively these days in the non-consumer imaging realm. And so uh, you can think of uh, um, different types of applications that are used in, for example, factory automation like interferome interferometry, uh, wafer inspection, um, even things like laser eye surgery to guide the surgeon when you're doing uh, LASIK um, or PRK if you've gotten uh, your vision corrected, um, microscopy, and also um, military imaging. Uh, so basically uh, military imaging, whether it's ground vehicles, uh, airborne vehicles, and unmanned vehicles, um, and uh, submersibles as well. So in a nutshell, CameraLink is non-consumer applications. It's not something that you'd want to uh, use for photography or you wouldn't want to lug around CameraLink products and components on your vacation. All right. CameraLink technology, um, where did it all start and what's it all about? Well, it began as, a, um, as an interface standard by uh, uh, National Semiconductor. And uh, basically, uh, National um, came up with um, a way to transmit this type of data, and they based it on LVDS. So um, uh, CameraLink is uh, really um, uh, based uh, initially on LVDS, and the successor to LVDS was called ChannelLink. So just some interesting history. Different versions of CameraLink. Um, there's three different versions. And it's important to know that when you're ordering a CameraLink camera, or a, a camera link accessory, um, what the version is. Um, the version uh, uh, reason that's important is because uh, it has to do with the transmission bandwidth and with uh, base being the least and full being the most. And uh, what we're uh, able to um, achieve is some very high frame rates and high resolution combinations when you're switching to full. However, as an important note, um, the last uh, and historically, uh, all of the equipment was made with base configuration. Only recently, in the last couple of years, so 2010, 11, 12, um, have we started to see um, additional 
camera products and camera accessories that are uh, based on the uh, that are on the full configuration of CameraLink. Um, that's because the sensor manufacturers have come out with some new technologies that have allowed us to um, to produce faster devices combined with high resolution. For all you engineers out there looking for a circuit board or configuration to quench your thirst, here it is. Uh, talking about the different um, connectors and so forth. Advantages of, of uh, CameraLink. It's pretty important. Uh, CameraLink has a lot of advantages. And one major advantage is that it's a true industry standard. Um, it's flexible, that's true, but as far as um, what you can do with it. But really having a standard means that you can buy camera link components and you can connect them with camera link cameras and vice versa. And that means that reproducibility is much more straightforward for system builders and, uh, and it provides a more consistent upgrade path for all users. So that's pretty key. Um, a primary advantage also with camera link is data rate. Camera link is for high bandwidth vision applications. A side note, uh, to learn more about the advantage or disadvantage of camera link for your particular situation, please contact our office. I mean, we'll just give you uh, some, some pointers, some tips, uh, no charge, no hassle. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we'll give you some white papers as well. Our contact information is included at the end of this presentation. So, to recap, camera link simplified. Major elements of camera link. It's a digital interface standard for non-consumer cameras and components and it makes con connection of cameras and components easier. You might be asking, what are the major components? There are three major camera link components. A camera link camera, a frame grabber, and a cable. The host computer that you uh, use um, with these components really can be any um, quality computer um, as well as uh, you can use any quality lens that will fit your camera. Um, some other important notes is that uh, much of the software uh, that's needed is inside the camera. It's called firmware, and it's up to the camera manufacturers to make sure their firmware confirms to the camera link standard. What you also typically receive when you buy a camera link camera is you'll get a camera control program, uh, which is a basic software program to control the functions of the camera. And uh, you'll also get a more comprehensive software package from the frame grabber company. Um, so let's talk about prices, because I know that you're probably pretty curious about prices. Products and prices. All in U.S. dollars, by the way. Um, the prices. All right. Well, let's talk about range of magnitude. Camera link frame grabber. Um, they come come in all shapes and sizes, as do the cameras and the cables. But uh, the frame grabber, typically a good one, is going to be about six hundred dollars, and it's going to run up to about eleven hundred dollars. And what's going to uh, affect the price on that um, is that um, the uh, camera link um, frame grabber. Um, it, whether it's base, medium, or full configuration is going to affect the price, as is the functions available and the software available. Uh, for cables, um, the standard cable, cable lengths are 2, 3, and 5 meters, and you can also go out to 10 meters with camera length, and this uh, length is going to affect the um, price, um, as is the type of cable. There's uh, some, some pretty interesting uh, cable configurations that have been made available in the past few years to fit around tight corners and things like that uh, based on the fact that camera link itself as a disadvantage um, is not the most uh, flexible cable as far as things like bend radius for you mechanical engineers out there who are trying to fit these products into a tight system um, you know, camera link has some challenges but there are cable solutions and again we can provide those um, as well um, the camera most importantly pricing all over the um, all over the board, uh, really depending on the, the make, the model, functionality. Um, but let's let's take some important things in, into consideration. It's rare to see a good camera link camera under fifteen hundred dollars uh, for a single quantity purchase. Um, you know, if you're really looking for a low low cost product, better to go with USB or Gigi. Um, just as a note, um, prices on the camera link products are go up to about. Uh, Nineteen thousand uh, dollars these days, uh, based on resolution. So, for example, the 19K would be a single quantity uh, for a very high-resolution camera with some added fe features and some um, uh, decent uh, or some very good frame rate, for example, for its class. So, the sensor architecture will affect the prices. The resolution will affect the prices. Um, 
makes sense when you think about it because the higher resolution sensors um, are always more difficult to manufacture in quantity with quality. Okay, so the other things that will affect price are um, the volume of products that you buy, so the quantity. So if you're a one-off user, and you, you know, your price is going to be higher generally than if you're buying multiple quantities and you're an OEM. Um, the other very important consideration of pricing is going to be the customer that you, the type of customer that you are. Um, if you're a government user, if you're an OEM, if you are a research institution, our firm will grant discounts uh, to support your work, even if you're just buying one camera. So just please contact us to find out more. Lastly, um, where to buy. If you're looking for um, good quality products, it's better to work with a company that has multiple offerings that can help you guide uh, your selection to the most uh, applicable uh, for you. Um, it's better to go with a supplier that's trusted where other um, high profile programs have chosen this supplier. And uh, a supplier with camera link experience always helps if you're going to buy a camera link camera. So uh, Rice Camera Technologies, that's our company and our website is www.ricecamera.com. Uh, there you can find our extensive selection of camera link products for military, for scientific, and for machine vision applications. Uh, we have um, multiple resolutions and we have um, a lot of different versions and we um, we can help you to uh, to choose a camera that's right for you. Uh, our management has been helping organizations with camera links since 2002 and we've uh, been fortunate to help many OEMs and government customers uh, who have chosen us as their trusted source for cameras. So in short we're knowledgeable, we're easy to work with and we offer fair prices. I want to thank you for your time here. Um, if you need some help with um, camera link products, uh, it's really uh, easy to go to our website and, and uh, contact us and see which products you like. Register for more information on our website. Uh, or our email is sales at ricecamera.com. Again, it's sales at ricecamera.com. Um, if you have any questions, uh, we're, we're there to help you. Uh, we don't believe in hassling or hounding people, um, unlike our competitors. So. Uh, if you need any help, just let us know. We'll be happy to help, and thank you for your time.